Hello and welcome to video. Today we're going to take a look at a very interesting team. We're going to have a team with Porygon 2 with the move um, Lock-On, Tri-Attack and also Solar Beam. I actually don't know why this player went for Solar Beam for this meta, but we will see if um, this can hit a few Pokemon here. But in general, I question this choice here for one reason. I think just that Zap Cannon is just better in general. Like Zap Cannon is a very strong move in general as well. Has the chance to debuff the opponent's attack for like 66% or something or 60 percent and uh, the thing is while we see the melodic coming in here and we're going to see the first solar boom i guess here as well goodbye melodic um thing is zap can basically hits everything that already the solar beam hits while you still get the defense the drop chance for the attack so i don't really understand why you went for the solar beam um i think like zap can is still a better move here but solar beam still a fun one to see as we also see how good the tri attack is Porygon 2 is actually a very cool Pokemon. I really like this Pokemon. I really wish it would be a little bit better. Um, in Ultra League, it's actually pretty decent because it has some more bulk there and you have like the options to debuff the opponent. Tri-Attack has a 50% debuff chance for the attack and the defense of the opponent as well, which is nice as we're gonna get here two drops there already, which is cool. You can just shield this move up and try to go for another charge move here, cross person coming through, and you can go for another Tri-Attack here to hopefully knock them out. But um, you will be able to actually get another drop. This means that the opponent still has to throw but you're actually going to outspeed them porygon is going to tony right now holy hell very very nice they're going to be able to get switch and shield advantage allowing you to align your pokemon that is amazing um also we're going to see a focus blast on the galarian slowbro in the back which is going to be also an interesting one but we will see the aloma mola coming in now which will get hit by this lunge you might just want to hit it for another one but actually going to swap out you can go for a psychic and this should already put them into range they cannot really knock you out here either it's going to be a very good game there but yeah i really hope that we also get try take on maybe a few more pokemon for example um dodrio would be really cool there um but yeah that's something that we don't have yet we will see here the electrode coming in we're going to see the focus blast and let's see how much damage it's going to do here it's just going to straight knock them out good game there next opponent we see a charizard in the lead here for example zap can would have been better but you can also just go straight for try attack which is still going to hurt look at the damage that lock on does here what that's a while like look how much damage it does like it, it's just a one damage move there like i don't understand but still fine we see a debuff again we see a debuff here as well maybe we do like you just have so much luck with the debuffs right now that's insane try attack seems to be such a strong move there we do hope that other pokemon would get that it would make it so so cool but here we see that you can go for some lunch and you will be able to also um always win this match up here um without having to give up a shield as far as i know like they can shield up but like if you if they want to but that doesn't really make too much sense for them you're going to over farm which is a smart decision here because you have to go for another cross poison basically immediately against the incoming shadow charizard here as this will do around 60 percent actually of their health i think yeah look at this you will be able to very good them low you can shield up once here it's going to be most likely a blast burn if it's a bait it's also fine it is a bait but i don't think they get to another blast burn in time we see a medicham coming in against medicham you're actually in a pretty decent spot here as your fast move does more damage than their fast move their fast move is double resisted ours is neutral and you see already the psychic damage coming in you're going to shield up the potential psychic here it's going to be an ice punch which is actually fine for you and you can farm them all the way down here this should be looking pretty decent for you as it's going to be the psychic now you can still survive it you can farm them all the way and they're actually going to go for another charge move never mind i think you're going to lose it now uh no you maybe had to catch a move there or is lock on enough to farm him down lock on is enough to farm down the cherries that i didn't expect it lock on had to do like two damage there i feel like lock on did two damage against the opponent there actually going to try to see if i can find this um next to it as well here because lock on actually even though it's a one damage move has the chance in some scenarios to do two damage instead of one which is a wild um if i go for the porygon 2 here for example um this will be an interesting one there we don't have the shadow version here we have just normal version but against charizard let's see if the lock on actually would do more damage with um the bonus there lock on does two damage exactly lock on did two damage the entire time which is an interesting one there because it really helped you out here you will be able to get a shield advantage against the opponent's talent flame we see most likely another focus bus but actually you try to catch the move here on your electrode which is uh, on the electrode or from the electrode on your um own Ariados, you can go for one lunge, you will be able to debuff the opponent. I actually don't like the shield there because I feel like you could do more with the shield there 
uh, with the other Pokemon, but actually you're going to knock them out because you wins the MP against them, it seems like. Allowing you to get the attack boost, like you're such a lucky player so far, like the boosts are coming through here. We see a Lomomola coming in, you can go ahead and go for the lunch against the Talonflame, this will knock them out though because of the attack buff easily. And now you can just go ahead, go for another lunch, and I don't think there's a way that they can win this. You might want to swap out here though, I don't know, maybe you want to swap out here? You can still get to the Cross Poison, never mind. This Cross Poison will do a ton of damage. It was nice that you stayed in there then. And this Cross Poison actually knocks them out straight away because of the attack buff. Insane. We see the next opponent. Horrible lead, you're going to swap out immediately into a Say Swap Ariados. I like that this Pokemon is a Say Swap as well. Very cool Pokemon. Against the um, opponent's Licky Tongue, you could actually shield up once, and I think you force them to also shield a lot of times, but you're going to no shield the first one. Body Slam coming through. You actually can take two. You actually can take two Body Slams, so you should be fine here. Getting a shield advantage is, I think, also very nice for you, as you will be able to hit another lunge there. You might actually... I don't know. We will see. You're going, you're going to let this move go through. Maybe you actually can get either the alignment here or uh, shield advantage, but we'll see actually that you're going to get the alignment, which is really good for you. We see the Wicked Tough coming in. You can still get to one Cross Poison, which is amazing, as this is going to do a lot of damage and put them into range for one of your charge boosts, but you can just farm all the way down, and it's basically a slow roll time here. I don't think you're going to use your Porygon at all in this game. You can just go for Psychic, maybe get the debuff here, that would be amazing, but you need some damage anyway. Oh, they're going to... Okay, yeah, you're just going to actually speed this move up. Um, I didn't uh, edit the videos at all, like, he actually sent them to me all completely edited like this, so I don't even have to do anything, so that's kind of nice. So he sped up this one as well, which is kind of decent as the opponent, I guess, forfeited there. Next opponent here, going to have a Crustle. You didn't hit all the bubbles. I think this was more the, the game bug there, it seemed like. But you will still be able to hit another one here, which will get the... Would have got the knockout if you hit all the bubbles prior. That's kind of sad. You're going to let this move go through. But this allows you to have a lock on farm down if you want to, which I would do at least if I was in your city area. And yes, you will do that. You're going to get some energy there, and you can go for the try attack. Hopefully, you're going to get the debuff of the opponent there for the attack and the defense. You don't do it this time around, which is sad. And we see a Macago coming in. It's basically a good game. Um, there's nothing that you can do here really anymore. You can go for the psychic, try to get the shields. You're going to shield up most likely the move coming in from the opponent, but I feel like there's not a lot that you can do here unless you get like both of their shields or something. Yeah, okay, no, there's no way. You can maybe go for the Focus Blast. They're most likely not going to shield this one, but still, then the opponent's still going to have the Medicham there. Exactly, you can knock them out, and the Medicham will get to another. They're actually going to throw here. Maybe there's still a chance. Not gonna lie, wait. If you, if you can go for two moves here and they don't have Power Punch, if you get the defense, the drop there, that's really needed. Please don't have Power Punch. It's going to be Ice Punch. I don't know if... You, I, I don't think you can outspeed them, though. It's going to be so close. I don't think you can outspeed them, though. Like, you, you usually would be able to, but yeah, this time around, there's still had too much energy. Still was a close one, though. Like, still was a close one. Porygon 2 is putting in some work here. Very, very nice. Next opponent, Slowbro again. Going to be a very neutral matchup, to be fair. You can just go ahead and go for Tri Attack. I would go for it straight away. You can actually try to catch the potential Sludge Bomb on your um, Pokemon there in the back because both of them would resist it, but you're going to stay in here. They're going to go for another Sludge Bomb. You can go for this Tri Attack here, which will allow you to maybe farm them down afterwards. We see that you over farmed a little bit, which, okay, it helps you out here because they're going to go ahead and go for another Charge Move. You can just win this match up here in the lead, but you're going to opt to let them um, knock you out there. It's going to be an interesting one here. You can farm them all the way down. You're gonna get a ton of energy. I actually, I actually don't like the shield here because they were debuffed. But otherwise, I like the play. <laughs> I would, I wouldn't have shield here. But you can just go straight away for the focus best. Maybe they don't know about it. Let's see. They didn't know about it, and you can farm them all the way down before they can even. Oh, they actually slow reach a move. Just barely there. That's kind of unfortunate, but very cool focus burst hitting there. And we see the Loma Mola in there. Should swap out here. You don't get to the move. That's so annoying. That's so sad. You need to swap out immediately there if I was in your position because now they can go for the Psychic. I'm pretty sure you had a chance to win this game there for sure. You could have either went for the Psychic straight away um, or went for the swap immediately and tried to debuff the opponent's attack. But like this, it's going to be a tough one. I will swap out most likely immediately, try to debuff them. But here we see a Crossel in the lead. Again, this is kind of an awkward one. Um, you kind of have to stay in here. You kind of have to go for the beam, I guess. You can win this in the zero shield for sure. So you can let this Exodus go through. And you're going to go straight for the solar beam. Do they let this move go through as well? Let's see. They are going to shield this move up. You're going to go into the slow, bro. Crustle is a core breaker for the team, basically. There's not a lot that really you can do here. But at least you have Psychic on your slow, bro, which allows you to have some neutral damage already. Focus Blast is overkill here. Also, is only neutral like Psychic. This will knock them out and we see a Wild Plume coming in. That's actually decent for you. You resist this one. 
and you even resist it more with the backline there. And if they go into this Pokemon here, like, I wonder what they're going to have in the back because it seems like that they are very weak to poison types in general than in the back. Maybe they have a Charmer in the back. Let's see. We will see the Porygon trying to swap onto the charge move. Didn't work out. I uh, like the play, though. Like, I like the play, but I don't think they even were there. You're going to let this move go through. This is a very risky. That's very, very risky to let the move go through here. Um... Because, like, no matter if it's resistant or not, you see, like, it does a ton of damage, but they have a charm on the back, and you got the next attack boost. Something that I never get with my Ariados when I try to use Cross Poison, but helps you out a ton here. Will win you the game. I think you would have won otherwise, still, though, as well. Because you would have reached another charge move in time, so doesn't really matter that you got the attack boost there. Next opponent, we see a Charizard swapping in onto the uh, um, poison type move, Cross Poison. You will be able to get a shield advantage here for sure, as this would knock them out, and they don't really want you to knock them out. And if they go for a Dragon Claw, you might even get to another move here. Ah, no, never mind. Definitely not. Dragon Claw coming through, going to knock you out already. Shadow Charizard does too much damage. As we see the Slowbro coming in here, you will be able to farm them all the way down now. And this Dragon Claw going to get shielded. We will be able to get the entire farm down. And we will see what's coming in now. Is it something that's weak to Focus Blast? It is something that's weak to Focus Blast. So hopefully we're going to see that land. Also, if you land the Focus Blast here, you either knock them out or you get the final shield, which allows you to go for a Solar Beam later on, maybe. Let's see. Focus Blast coming through, going to knock them straight out. And we see a Macargo coming in. It's going to be the Incinerate version. They most likely gonna go for the Rock Tomb here with no shield actually there, but maybe they want to. Maybe it's actually okay. Maybe they're going to go for the Overheat now. You can go for the Solar Beam. They're going to let this move go through. Now you're gonna go for the Tri Attack immediately. This is amazing that they went and let this move go through because now you can go ahead and force the shields from the opponent. They're going to overfarm though. I think it's going to be a loss though. Like they can go for one Rock Tomb here. I think this already knocks you. Yes, it does. And yeah, it's going to be a loss here sadly, but very well played. Very close one still. Um, very, very nice. Going into the next game now, after this Macargo destroyed you there, sadly, we will see the Macargo again. <laughs> like, what a timing. Again, I don't know about the games itself, so it's funny to literally see the same Pokemon there. That's, that's kind of wild. We've seen the Rock Tomb coming in here. I would have no shield that as well, because it was very obvious that they won't go for the Overheat immediately if they have such a dominant matchup here. They're going to shield up the move. Like, for them, it's very, very safe to just shield. They're going to go for another Rock Tomb here. They're going to no shield this one. You might want to swap out, though. Um, with a solar beam now you're going to stay in there you're going to let this move go through they're going to let this move go through as well and they know that solar beam will not knock them out and you have to try to farm them all the way down here with your slow bro it's going to be a tough one they might go for the um overheat now but they don't they go for another rock um tomb there and you can farm them all the way which is nice we see the medicham coming in you most likely have to swap out eventually um because you debuffed which is kind of sad but yeah you're going to get the shield and we see Cliff Fable coming in and may the opponent already going out there. That was a weird one, but nice there from the opponent. Next opponent here, we're going to see the Talonflame again. If you had the Zap Cannon, you would have a potential nuke against it. Like this, you can still go for the Tri Attack Spam. You're going to outspeed them. The game lagged a little bit there, I guess, which is okay. We will see that they're going to get the drop there, which is very nice for you. They're going to basically get to the equal amount of um, damage from their fast attacks now with the boost from Flame Charge. But you will be able to go for a tri a little bit faster than them, as you can go ahead, shield up the next move, and you can still get to another tri in time. But you most likely won't outspeed them to the final one, but you can farm them down later on, which will be more important, as they're going to actually let this move go through, and you're going to face your nemesis again. Going to be Crustle, you can go for the Solar Beam. Do they expect this one? Let's see, they do not, and you're going to completely annihilate this thing. Amazing here, final game, we see the Licky Tank. please land the Focus Burst. Oh, you're gonna go for the Psychic. Smart play here was, by the way, to swap out immediately into Ariados to get the def the drop for the attack, but you're still going to be able to win this game pretty easily. So, thanks for sending in those bells. It was a lot of fun to watch them, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, and i see you on the next one. Bye!